Hi guys, uh, my name is Jordan Moldes and today uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how approach uh, concept art in VR using Masterpiece Creator. So right now I'm gonna try to create a creature for you and the first thing that I'm gonna do is try to make a gesture sketch so I can understand what I'm working on. I'm gonna change the color so okay. So my main idea here is work with blocks blocks that are going to uh, help me to view all the um, the angles super quick and fast when I try to sculpt uh, uh, something like that my main idea is create first the the main shapes that are going to uh, make me understand what I have in front of me uh, not also me just uh, the audience so uh, I suggest you to go into simple forms uh, and as you're happy with it and, and 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 your figure your shape is doing what you want to do you can start putting more effort you see how easily and fast I'm able to change from one size to another that's very helpful so right now I'm happy with what I've got but I'm not sure yeah the legs the legs are good but not perfect because right now is floating and I don't want a floating thing as you see I try to erase my my first shapes and redo it but looking <coughs> looking more into detail and into how actual I can create this lines are gonna make a real difference at the end okay so i like what i've got but i'm not really sure about my arms so we are going to work on it right now until we find the actual arms so my pose, which helps me a lot <laughs> when I'm sculpting, is try to make the same pose. Try to make the same pose. So if I try to make the same pose, I will have this further than this. Every time I create a creature, I try to uh, think about animal uh, anatomy this this is gonna help me to make it more believable to the audience because uh, if I use something that you can recognize it's gonna make it more real so if you're trying to create uh, any kind of creature you should base your creature in how muscles are behaving in real estate so an elbow is an elbow even if it's a human or if it's a monster or also if it's a creature or, or a cartoon an elbow it's an elbow <laughs> so an elbow cannot, cannot rotate more than uh, 45 degrees until the the stretch movement of the arm so we have to take all these points on, on, in consideration if we want to create a nice piece so yeah study uh, a little bit of anatomy 
always helps. So you know how you, you are you watching how easy I can transform these strokes into one shape. It's very intuitive and also it's how how you work with clay because you have a mass and you start adding uh, pieces to create your shapes. Also, what I like to work in that way, in this way, is that I know the touch of my piece. This is so simple and so fast that I don't have the time to be <laughs> sentimental. Because sometimes when I work with paper or in a clay piece, you spend so many hours until the end result that you get a touch to your piece and sometimes you are not able to watch your, your own mistakes. So this for me it's about being spontaneous and get the flow of the idea. So yeah right now right now it's looking how I want it to look.